So, welcome back to Let's Play Rogue Legacy. Last time we killed Johannes, or Johans, and the Fountain of Youth. Today, it is time to once again enter the castle in New Game Plus mode. So, I don't know exactly what this is going to entail. Well, the throne room is resealed. Things are evidently much more difficult, and I never re equipped my vampirism stuff. So, yeah. That went spectacularly. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Lich Queen, Barbarian King, Dwarfism, and ADHD. Sounds good. Eidetic Memory would have been nice as well, but, well, we didn't go that route. Okay, let's re equip some. I have a feeling that I will want that armor. I don't have the weight required for that. Okay, so for now, we're going with what we got. Uh, okay, I don't waste the uh, MP in town, that's a good thing. Okay, here we go. Setting forth once again, back into the castle. It at least looks like the amount of gold we acquire has been greatly increased. As has the amount of health restored by food, or that could just be a barbarian king thing. And I can tell you already, this is not going to be a fun little experience. Alright, the sky sword. I'm just trying to get through this place alive, which may not happen. On one hand, I'd like to get some gold, but on the other hand, I'd like to live for a little while. Alright, I'm not going to be able to... Just... Okay, I just ran into a spike. That's just me being great at this game yet again. What the hell are we going to do here? I would like to just bounce on this guy over and over and... Seriously, hit me through the wall. Okay. We have managed to kill three or so enemies. And that is why I generally do not bother trying to down attack guys, because I end up killing myself in the process. Hey, we've made it to a... That's not the map. Third room. Now the fourth, if we count the entryway. Seriously. And that was just me being terrible. So I was expecting this to be a little easier than this is currently appearing to be. Oh yeah, Spelunker, I can get hit, killed in one hit. That, that will not be fun. I'm insane, and I have trouble reading things. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll have trouble reading things. This is not gonna end well. I'm not gonna be able to afford anything there, I know that already. Hang on a second. What would those runes that decrease enemy scaling actually be useful? Harder enemies. <sighs> yeah. Of course, I can't actually afford it, that particular set of runes, so we are just going to be going to the castle yet again. We will conform or something. Confirm what we, uh, or rather that we would like to enter the castle. And we have a whole 115 health. And I totally almost ran into that last guy. Well, it certainly gives me enough gold. I should, I should amend that statement. It, it doesn't give me enough gold because I still want more gold. What? What? Oh yeah, I'm insane. That's not an actual enemy. Oh. 
This is not going to be a fun combination of things. I don't know if this is a real eyeball or a fake one. It appears to be real because I can actually hit it. No jumping. Well, isn't that lovely? Well, that didn't last too long. We got some money that we can probably afford a grace rune now. We can hopefully afford a grace rune. Okage. Here we go. There is no spork. What? Okay. I don't want to buy anything at the moment. Let's buy a grace rune. I don't have one here. I don't use abilities often, so... Here we go. Wait, less rewards? Did I read that correctly? Let me scale slower, easier, but lesser rewards. Whatever. I'm just unequip that again. No, okay. We're good to go. Let's see if the reduced rewards are worth having easier enemies. Why does everything look like this? Is this because I am the spork? The one, there is no spork. I don't know what the heck is going on. Apparently we have entered the Matrix. Alright, oh, uh, these are back to normal guys. That's nice. And they're definitely still giving a lot of gold. Now I don't know if this is because I used the Grace Rune, or... Because, uh, one second here. There we go. I don't know if that's because I used the Grace Rune, or if because of the Spork. I totally should have climbed that before breaking it. Oh well, too late now. Definitely not getting a lot of gold, no fighting. Okay, so I just essentially run through the place. Alrighty. And now I can kill everything. And now I got hit a bunch of times. Yay. Why did I just spontaneously... Okay, something died. I don't know how, I don't know why. I'm assuming it was one of these spiked, uh... things. If I had a gold coin for every time I ran into an enemy... Well, here we go. It's been a good life. May as well go get ourselves killed. Or am I going to be foolish enough to think that I'll actually manage to recover my health a slight bit? Were there any particularly easy enemies in here? Yeah, there's a couple. And there we go. I am now officially with less health than I started. Chicken. If I get chicken, I'll be good. There we go. Kill a flame lock. And dodge a fireball and then kill a flame lock. I'm slightly concerned that because of the spork, I will end up facing Neo Kadir. Oh, I'm like, oh god, spikes! No, wait. We're as close to full health as we're going to end up getting. Boss time.
Oh, I was like, okay, yeah, he was... He got small. No, wait, he didn't. A lot easier without spike pits around the room. Flawless victory. How about that? Works for me. Money, money. Good stuff. MP, HP, and more MP. Yay. Hokage overpowered. Yes. Hey, it's this guy again. Let's see if I can duplicate my results here. Yeah. Not even close. I still don't know exactly where I'm supposed to be going to dodge that. Arf. That second platform really does help. sword and everything is upside down no I don't want to change the resolution there we go oops hang on a second I can spam blade barriers I might have been going about this entirely wrong perfectly, but we made a little bit of progress, surprisingly. Essentially, every hit I make, I need to cast the Blade Barrier. Or every other hit. I don't know exactly how it works out. The thing I need to figure out is just avoiding that spiral one. The others are relatively easy in comparison. I just need to also get into the rhythm I need. So apparently this episode is just going to be actually killing this uh, giant friggin' eyeball that has thus far defeated me every single time. I have an idea too. Let's turn on Quick Drop. Wait, Quick Drop allows you to drop down ledges and a down attack in the air by pressing down. Okay, let's enable that. Now in theory I just have to press down to drop through the platform. Which doesn't seem to be working. Did I just turn it off? Or did I just turn it on and then back off? And now it's working. I'm just pressing down. This will be a lot easier. So 
Put one bo oh, it's started. I'll just drop down and run across. It'll be glorious. Let's try this again. How many times is this new uh, thing gonna get me killed? Also, if I attack the correct direction, I imagine. Oops. Experiment time. Can I touch the actual eye? Without taking damage. It's hard to tell because I'm getting hit constantly. I can sort of. Okay, that's good to know. I don't need to try and jump under it, so I can just be speedy. Now my question is, can I just run off this platform to the left and then do a double jump without getting hit? It's because it's going to be hard to check. No. Yeah, I definitely do it that time. That's what I need to do. I just need to be able to do it every time I need to do it. I also need to not keep hitting it. Alright, here we go again! Don't worry, only ten more minutes of this. Actually, only be a couple more. slow. I'm tempted to just try this once, just not attacking at all, and just trying to see how much or how long I can manage to avoid this successfully. I think that's the lowest I've managed to get it. That was partially due to some good random number generator luck. Right, come on, we got this. Close. Come on, I'm, I'm a frickin I have the freaking spork. I should be able to, like, stop time and kill, like, dodge everything. Uh, Jump too early. Didn't even get below half health. Try this again. And uh, I'm accidentally tapping down. It's not one thing, it's another. The biggest problem is I just really need to be a lot quicker than I am on that jump. Which is a lot easier said than done, unfortunately. Right here. Wait a second. I have not managed to do that before. Well, so much for that little bit of glory. Like, oh man, I found out. No, I screwed up anyway. Damn it. So I can jump up to the top right and dodge through them. I just have to wait for them to get to the. almost all the way to the top. 
Oh well. Didn't quite work out. Screw it. I'm gonna sit in spikes. Have I gotten past that? I don't think so. I don't know. Oh, how I'd love to not be putting those swords down into nothing else sometimes. Not even close. Yay. Just relaxing. Calm down. Deep breath. I got to the two. At least it's not a game bug where he's clearly invulnerable and his health never drops below the seven. Alright, taking deep breath worked last time. Another deep breath. Let's do this. Freaking random number generator. I have the most trouble with that eyeball blood Nova thing. And he just uses it every time. Like, without fail. Ow. Got to the V. So close. Come on. One more time. Deep breath. Relax. I got this. Take a deep breath, relax, motivate myself, and kill the giant eyeball.
Finally! Holy crap. About half an hour fighting this boss over and over. And what do we get? A giant chest containing. Audio's bugging out slightly. Got an achievement. Game. Okay, here we go. I don't know what the hell's going on with that. All right. So that friggin' Neo Kadir is dead. If you watched the full extended edition of that, thanks a lot. Um, really, just me dying repeatedly. Nothing special. If you didn't, well, I don't blame you at all because it was kind of a boring half hour of me dying very often. I was like, should I go for... Who's the forest boss? Ponce de Leon? I don't remember. This is not the way I want to go. Come on, chicken. Random teleporter. I will pass, thank you very much. Do I wish to pray for help? Help. Sure. What do I get? Herodotus. Herodotus is Obol. I believe that unlocks Neo Herodotus. Whatever the heck his name is. Oh, I seriously have to get through this room. Looks pretty. Yeah, this is not happen. Right, let's go the other way. Screw it. Maybe this will help. Hello, Land of Darkness. Or hello, Maya. Where are we? Yeah, we're kind of out of the way. Oh, look, another one. Need chicken. I will accept eyeball chicken. Hey, I actually killed that before I had a chance to move. Sometimes good things do end up occurring. I don't need to go up in there for anything. That crate probably had chicken because that's how my luck tends to go. Oh, that almost got me. Ah, yeah. Defrag is running on the drive that I'm currently recording audio, audio to. So every time I attempt to, or every time it's trying to write, it's lagging. Let's go ahead and stop that. It has now stopped. We should be okay to proceed. Ha ha ha! I saw that. And with that, we have the Vampiric Cape rune. This room is kind of pointless. Ah, damn it. I should have just gone straight for the exit. 
Well, that, uh... Yeah. Alright, we got a bunch of money to spend. Next time we shall... Go in again, probably head to the forest, beat the boss there. And see what the hell happens afterwards. Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, rate, and or subscribe, and have a great day.